hey you guys good morning and welcome back um for another video um i haven't filmed in a while um so i'm trying to get back into the swing of things so right now i am getting ready to leave for a doctor's appointment and i was getting ready and i wanted to share it with you guys so since everybody's asleep right now i thought i would just film um a quick get ready with me and um yeah just head out the door so if you guys would like to see what kind of look i come up with um then please keep on watching Okay, so I'm just going in with my Catrice Prime and Find. I'm going to see if I could get my makeup done in 30 minutes. Because uh, I have not had my coffee yet. Since it's my day off from work, I, I would have liked to gotten some sleep, but... I don't know why I always end up choosing the early morning appointments. Well, I just like to wake up in the morning and take care of what I need to take care of. And then just have the rest of the day to chill and to relax. Um, going other primer is the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Primer. Um, yeah, I, I just like waking up early and doing what I need to do just to get a kickstart on my day. Because I know that if I don't, I'm not going to want to do anything. And I'm just that person where I have to wake up early get a kickstart on my day like just get what I need to get done and whatever isn't done I'll take care of it the next day uh, I'm not gonna use the palette I'm just gonna take my Smashbox foundation in um, the shade 4.2 um, don't mind my nails, I never really paint them either way, so it's um, a mess, as always. Um, so I'm just going to take that on the back of my hand, just full pump and then a half, because I don't want anything much on my face. I don't want much coverage, so going in light. And then again, the only reason why I'm wearing this foundation is because it does not transfer. And I love that about this foundation. Because right now I'm just wearing this shirt because I haven't buttoned it yet. And I don't want any foundation getting on it while I am putting it on. Okay, good. So since all the foundation is off the back of my hand, I don't have to worry about getting foundation on it. going to take a smaller amount just put it on the areas I feel I need a little bit more
So, how was your Thanksgiving, you guys? I worked. And then after that, I went to a co-worker's house. Um, just a few other friends from work as well. And we had a blast. So, I want to know how you guys spent your Thanksgiving. Because... Um, Let's just say I woke up the following day with a serious um, headache. I'm going in with my tart shape tape in deep. Um, I'm not taking too much under my eyes because I don't. Mm, I just don't really like going under my eyes with too much concealer. Uh, going down the bridge. Of my nose, lips, chin. The time being, I like leaving it for a while so it can set, and then I'm just gonna go in with doing my brows, and then I'll probably just cut the brows out or speed through. I'm trying to get these two things to look somewhat semi even. It drives me crazy. I'm just gonna take my Morphe sponge that I use for my foundation and blend out my concealer. I feel that when I leave this uh, concealer to set for a little bit, I feel it blends out a lot easier. Well, not a lot easier, a lot faster. And I get the coverage that I am looking for with it because I hear that it's well, well not really here like I watch a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of the beauty gurus they rave about how it's full coverage um, but I find that whenever I leave it to set for a while I find that I get it's um, a fuller coverage from it um, than to just go in right after I um, go in and blend it right after I just um, apply it to my face. So I'm just gonna set my under eyes with my Essence Brighten Up Powder Peach. Um, brighten up powder um, in peach. So I'm just gonna take that on my Real Techniques um, setting setting brush. I like using this under my eyes. Well, if it's this small, it should be for under my eyes. Oh, the early mornings, what they do to you. gonna set the rest of my face with my NYC loose um, smooth skin loose powder um, sadly it is discontinued in stores but you can still get it online at the NYC website um, I love this powder I have been using this powder for years um, and it has never let me down and I highly recommend it it's really underrated um, I feel um, for, as a setting powder in the drugstore but it's really good I really do recommend it um, since I'm trying to like Um, for my bronzer, I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronzer in deep. 
So this is the darkest color that they have there. So, and I actually, surprisingly, I like this bronzer, even though it's like, it has like a lot of glitter particles to it. Should be done before eight o'clock. Hmm, huh, my sister is out of work. To do a light contour, I'm just going to take my Black Radiance uh, pressed powder in mahog Rich Mahogany. And I'm just going to use the same brush. This is the Sonakashic um, brush in N29. Um, I like using this for either bronzer or blush. If I could go back to Target and get the same brush. Like, if I like a brush, I'll get a double of it. Um, just so that when one is dirty, I have the other one I can use um, and not have to <laughs> worry about pulling out another one. I don't really care to use half the time. So for blush, I'm going to be using my Equal Tools. This is actually a blush brush. The name of it just rubbed off because it's that old and the it's starting to shake. So I'm just going to go in with this Japanese blush in um, Friday Juice or whatever it wants to be called. I'll put the name in the description box the description box um i've had this blush for years well it, it sounds terrible because i haven't really used it um i uh, i don't know I mean, I've used it, but it just doesn't really wow me. Like, it does, just does not give me a wow factor. So, I'm gonna take it out. Every time I take it out, I, I, out of my collection, I just end up putting it back in. I don't know why. Um, the blush that I'm going to be using on top is the Maybelline Fit Me in, um, Berry, Berry Bay, Berry Bay, whatever the other word wants to be called. Um, I'm just going to go over top of that with this, uh, the only way I actually wear that um, Japanese blush is if I go over top with it um, with another uh, blush. That is how I wear that blush actually. I don't really need to put any highlighter on. Which I'm cool with that. Um, I'm going to go on for <laughs> my eye base I'm gonna use my um, elf eye base I don't know which palette which palette I want to use um, I have this new one by um, Juvia's Place. This is the first Nubian palette. I tried the second palette. I didn't like it. It just wasn't working for me. Um, so I returned it. And then I have this uh, one by Jordana. I'm, 
the middle of testing out. Um, I have this Morphe. Um, this is the Natural Glow. Ugh. I think I might go in with this palette. So.
for mascara, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Great Lash. Just gonna go over that mascara with my Maybelline um, Lash Sensational since it didn't do anything for my upper lashes. I like it for my lower lashes. Set my brows. I'm just going to be using the um, Maybelline Great Lash. This is the clear uh, mascara. Just gonna set my brows in place. Okay, okay, okay. For lips, I'm gonna be using my Jordana Easy Liner, um, Easy Liner for Lips in Coco Loco. I'm just gonna go over that with my NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline. So this is my final look. Um, I hope you guys um, enjoy these video and i hope you guys like this how this look turned out because i am loving it um and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this or for any other videos and i'll see you guys in my next one love ya Mwah.